Well, Steve White, Steve White, 89. Welcome to the dark world of sex. No, I'm not joining OnlyFans. I'm talking about the book, Madonna, Sex. Now, I only just got a copy of this a couple of years ago. Um, I tried to buy it back in the day um, when it came out. I actually asked my mother and she actually didn't say no. But we went to the bookstore uh, sometime in the afternoon or maybe the next morning. And of course it sold out in like two minutes. Now, did she know that and figured she'd get around the awkward conversation and saying no because I was way too young to have the book? Um, I don't know. Maybe that was her way of getting out of dealing with that issue because there would have been a huge fight had she actually said no. She said yes, but we got there and all oh, the book had sold out. So maybe she knew, but I didn't know. I had no idea. That's why I waited and didn't like say, no, we have to go now. But um, yeah, it sold about 150 thousand copies the first day. It was a huge success. It was on the New York Times bestseller list. It was a shocking moment in the culture and um, there really is the world and the media before and after Madonna's sex book. And unless you are alive at the time, you cannot appreciate what, what, what an impact it had. It was, it was a moment. And a lot of people turned on Madonna and um, they decided for the 30th anniversary to actually re-release the book, they're doing 800 copies of it, which kind of shocked me. Um, I heard they're doing an exhibit, and I heard that they were releasing an 800 page copy of the book, so I thought, oh, they're doing like like a gallery um, book of the, um, the shoot, like an exhibit, where they're basically showing all the photos that went into it, because there were a lot that weren't featured because somebody actually stole them and tried to um, blackmail Madonna and um, Stephen Masail? Masail? Messiel? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I've never tried to pronounce it till now. Um, I've seen it spelled a million times and never thought about it. Um, Messiel? I don't know how to spell I don't know how to um, pronounce his name. Um, and then they just didn't use those images, I think, was what happened. But um, obviously for every photo that's in the book, there's a whole lot that, you know, didn't get printed. So I thought maybe that's what they were doing. It turns out the person just made a mistake. They're printing 800 copies of the book and Madonna will be signing a couple of them for charity. Now, back in the day, of course, the book sold out in a minute, and people were all screaming for more copies, and Madonna said, no, basically we're only printing this amount, and that was it. And she kept to her word. As far as I know, there were no reprints or anything done in the 30 years later, and she could have made a lot of money. She could have done another wider, um, you know, um, um, print of it, but she didn't. Uh, until now, they're doing 800, a limited run of 800, so um, I'm kind of surprised by that, but happy because we've got a second collectible and if she signs a fair selection of them, they'll be very collectible. I'd love to have one. I don't think I can afford one. But um, they're doing an exhibit. It's going to be from the 29th of November through to December 4th. It's a pop-up exhibit. They've built a little gallery for it, which you have to be over 18 to get into. Um, and Madonna and the artistic director of St. Laurent Gallery in Miami, I think, is who they are, um, Anthony Facardio, um, her, him, him and Madonna actually picked the images and they've all been blown up to large scale and um, yes, it's getting some love, it's getting some respect, it deserves it. Um, Madonna recently uh, tweeted the, the date um, and in a more notorious tweet she basically, to celebrate the 30th anniversary, pointed out that her sacrifice at the time because she was absolutely cancelled at the time and it killed the sales for erotica the album which i always thought was a mistake she should have released the album first and then the book because the album was a known factor like it was going to do well and with all the publicity around the book it would have had it would have done better i think but once the book came out and people started to turn on madonna it did affect the sales of the album and a lot of people i remember my brother famously saying her career was over like three times I think he said it over the years and I occasionally remind him of that that oh gee it's been like how many decades and Donna's career was over then wasn't it remember didn't you say that oh that's right no so yeah um now I've only I have opened this um but I, I've only looked at it once um listening to the CD that came with it both in condom style wrappers because it did promote safe sex even though it's a fantasy and there is no AIDS in that world as she said she does acknowledge it um in, I think, the introduction. But I have looked at this, but I've, I've only looked at it once. I'm probably only going to look at it once because I want it to stay special. It's better being iconic and um, legendary than actual, a practical thing because nothing lives up to legend, really. But um, 
I love it. I'm glad I finally got a copy of it. I had my first adult moment with this book, and that sounds worse than I meant. What I meant was I had just moved to Melbourne. I had $800 in the bank. That's it. And I went into Minotaur. I saw a copy of the book unopened for $800. I could have bought it, been broke, and had no money to live on, but had the book. And my first adult moment, mature moment, was saying, no, I'm going to keep the money in the bank and eat and not buy the collectible that I want. Um, and then I regretted it for the rest of my life up until the other year because I never saw it again in a, in a book store or anywhere for sale until I went online and looked for it. But um, that's my history in sex, history of sex. Um, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. If you're in the area of the, the it's a one week um, art um, thing that they have every year for Art Basile or something in Miami, go to it, see the book. It's um, 18 years and over. Bye.